Welcome back, Crack fans. We are here live with our three winning coaches from this year's Division I Men's National Championship, USC Trojans, Chris Quinta, Brett Macy, Deaton Bauman. Guys, first of all, congratulations to all of you on a spectacular weekend. Let's start with this finals, the doubles point. I'll go to you, Coach Macy. Coming into this, our Crack Rackets prognostication, you guys were one and two. The Tar Heels, not only 3-0 this weekend, 10-0 on the season. What did you tell your team going into doubles, and ultimately how big was it that you captured that point? Uh, I mean, we yeah, like you said, they're, they're a very good doubles team, and we knew we had to be play our best tennis and also play more aggressive tennis. I think, uh, you know, we threw in Brandon in there thinking that that was going to give us our best chance. So the fact that he was out there in his presence alone, I think he just gave us a good chance there. And Chris did an excellent job getting a 6-2. You know, it was, it was kind of just flip-flopped at three. They, they, they took us 6-2. And then so down here, no one was making returns, really, as you guys noticed. It was pretty easy holes, 40-15 the whole way through, 40 loves. Maybe a few 40 30s, but and we had one match uh, break point there at Deuce at four all. I mean, it didn't look great down two five, that's for sure. But you know, Riley came up with two really big serves, got us a five four, and then honestly, I think uh, Bloomberg gave us a kind of a gift with a weaker second serve that he hit all day, and Riley was able to smack a return. And then Cookie came up with a huge, you know, return there at five all. So I mean, yeah, it was we were down and out, but we were. Like all week, we fought through and we didn't we didn't waver. Yeah, and I think my favorite of you three to watch, with all due respect, is Chris because you are frantic out there. You're moving. I mean, I if you had a pedometer on two and a half miles, you're spreading around the point. And I noticed. I think it was. He didn't get his workout in today. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he made up for it on the court. I, I, I might sometimes get into it too, into it too much. Yeah, I get it right. No, <laughs> not to apologize. Anyway, <laughs> you know, but it's like an M MMA on the tennis court for me a little bit. Yeah, so. nothing like that. But I feel for you and you were on the Cookerman match in. Singles. You were talking to him in doubles as well. I noticed you had a five-ball point. Coach Macy was talking to him, but you had something to say as well. So you said, hey, probably look out for the body serve. That's where they're going all the time. And so I'm curious for you, the performance of Daniel in particular this week. He won at one singles against Stanford here today, two and one, I believe, against uh, Ben Seguin for yeah. UNC. Can you talk a little bit about his performance, how he was able to play his best tennis this week? It was just impressive how he's improved since the Ohio State match in Columbus and uh, ad adapted to the indoor conditions and was able to really play a more offensive style. And then uh, that's all I was telling him, hey, you know, take your chances, go after your shots, you have world-class uh, forehand and backhand, just go for it. Be more aggressive on the second serve, and he was just doing that, it's just that. And he just needs energy. I was just trying to... Uh, Kadima, some Hebrew words, and just getting him going. Uh, but I'm really impressed how he's grown and improved over the over over the 10 day span. So, I mean, all the guys really did. You know, we were down, we had three guys down, we had some bug, and for everybody to step up and play play like that, that's just super impressive. Yeah, and you guys looked loose even in the warm ups. And I'm not sure who flew in for you guys on a red eye, but I saw you yeah, call yeah, him out yeah, behind yeah. the curtain, and that got the team uh, amped from the don't beginning. Tell him, a special weapon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, it'll play, but my next question is to you, Deaton. You were on court five. That's where Stefan Dostinich, the freshman, came through so big against Brian Cernock. I know in that first set, I think there were like four deuce points. They all went the way of Stefan. Can you talk a little bit about the freshman's performance today, particularly that 5-4 game, 15-40 down. He fights off those three break points to get you that third point on the board. Yeah, I mean, credit to Steph. I mean, he did a, just a great job of kind of holding his resolve. And, you know, he looked to me. We were both kind of feeding off each other during the whole match, you know. And I think he just, you know, he was his resolve and the way he settled down during that was was amazing, you know. And I think he knew, you know, we had a game plan. We knew how we wanted to play. And, you know, in those three points, I just told him to go right back to it. Just, you know, take his time. You know, we were we were okay even if he lost that game. I just told him to hold his resolve and to do what he does best, which is play big, play with margin, and, you know, kind of enforce his will. You know, and he did that amazingly at the end. Yeah, what a great performance for the freshman. Uh, for all of you guys, and, uh, you know, Coach Mason, you can answer this if you'd like. I asked you this last time as well. For Brandon today, so clear in, at, during the singles portion how he was sick. You know, he's not going to get his best tennis physically. But for him to give you that effort in the doubles to get you that second, or that point at the two doubles position. Can you just talk about what it means to have a senior leader who, you know, through thick and thin at least is going to put it all out there? He's everything, right? Yeah. yeah. No, he, he does everything. I mean, he's... To, to, to not have an ego to worry about if he wins or loses, like, not many not many kids would do that. He just, he wanted to be out there. He knew that he wasn't at his best, and but he's like, you know what, coach, we want to win. This is what we got to do. And he's, he's all in for the team. I know for you guys, I think this is your fifth final in the last nine years. You've won multiple, you know, multiple indoor titles before. Uh, moving forward for your season, 
season, you know, I'm sure Coach Quinn's going to celebrate this one a little bit. Seems like he's a jovial guy. Uh, but for you, well, yeah, you can leave that in. But for you guys, uh, what does a result like this do for you? You were, you were number one already this season, so no one's going to say the expectations of national championship weren't there. But this sort of early result for all of you coaches, how will this, if at all, change your approach to the rest of the season? As long as we don't, I mean, hey, it's just that we were able to do this in an environment that I don't think a lot of people thought we could do it in. I mean, that's for sure. No, and you guys didn't. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's true. I'm but was following the podcast. I'm listening to it like late night. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, I would say one. Th I would say one thing. I think it just confirms what we already thought about this team. You know, moving forward, and I think coming here in conditions that don't favor us, and doing that, and doing it so competitively, and not being healthy. Yeah, not being healthy. It just kind of shows the nation what we already thought about ourselves, and it just confirms it even more. And don't be mistaken. These guys are a great team. There are a bunch of great teams here. The five teams that are uh, championship contender, and they're all want some of that Trojan blood, especially these guys after today. So we, you know, we, we got to get back to work. This is just an assurance of how good we are, or how talented we are, but nothing really changes. Yeah. We just keep on working hard. OK, last question for you guys, Coach Mason. It's your first year. Obviously, Chris, Deaton, you brought them back uh, for this to help work your transition this season. What does it mean for the three of you, you know, how your work ethic, your continuity, how your work as a coaching staff, that you're able to have this sort of success this early? It's got to be at least a sense of relief, you know, with all due respect. Coach Smith left huge shoes to fill. Yeah. Well, I mean, he definitely left the cupboard pretty full, too, so very grateful for that. I, I just think for us, it's just, again, we, we've we met a goal that we had at the year, and now we just got to keep going. I mean. At SC, it's all about trying to win national titles. And without being said, is we've got a, a bigger one that's out there in May. And this is just, again, like Chris said, reaffirming that we can do it. Now we just got to keep pushing to get better. When we were number one, we celebrated it, but it wasn't it was like, oh, great, you know, this is amazing. This is the end of the road. No, this was just a stepping stone to kind of keep pushing forward. And I think more than anything, what we've seen in this group is the cohesiveness that they have. And the, that that doesn't matter whether you're winning or losing. Like this group is a very tight unit. They'll do anything for one another. Yeah, for sure. Oh well, to the three of you. Seriously, it was our pleasure to get to watch this national championship experience. Uh, we got to jaw, you know, talk with you guys all the time. That was half the fun as well. So, <laughs> Coach Quinta, Coach Macy, Coach Bauman. That felt weird to say. Uh, congratulations to the three of you. And seriously, good luck. Hey, thanks for you guys team. doing yeah, this yeah, all no, week. This yeah, has been thank awesome. Thank you guys. Really it made it obviously it. a lot more enjoyable having you guys up there and just having the content, you know, the, you know, the banter and everything. I just I want to so. say that listening to your podcast, guys, is, is, uh, is, is a lot of fun. And yeah. you keep it live, you keep it uh, entertaining, and uh, you're doing a great job. So keep it going, keep it too. Yeah. And we have a lot of time on those LA freeways. So <laughs> we, we need some good content. Right. Whoever <laughs> you pick to win uh, does not win. So don't. <laughs> and May, just to pick, a, I pick against us every time. If, if I have your permission, I'm down. <laughs> I'm coaches. Thank you all so much, and good luck to all, all of you. Thank you so much. Yes. And thank Thanks. you for this laryngitis as well. Definitely courtesy <laughs> of your team. You can blame anything on us. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thanks, guys.